All right, I'm, I'm sending out the invite now. Straight up, no bullshit. <laughs> Literally, it put the end option. I didn't realize until I clicked it. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn it. <laughs> okay. Nice. Everybody should start popping in any second now. Sorry about that, everybody. <laughs> Matter of fact, I'm going to take a screenshot. Because <laughs> they changed it up. They had it where, because you used to have it with the boxes and everything, but there's actually now a section just for the who's in there. <laughs> yeah, all sorts of oops. <laughs> All right, I'm coming in here. <laughs> yeah. yeah, see, that's what we get for talking crap to Star Fury. He just nuked us. <laughs> he really did. Everybody else will be coming over soon. They all got the hint. <laughs> now it's going to be so fun for you to clip. <laughs> yeah, it'll be an easy stream to clip. We're just looking out for you, bro. <laughs> I haven't been doing the clips for a while. I'm putting more focus into the... Uh, comic coverage did we end up with the new uh, link here we are yeah we're we're live <laughs> again for now <laughs> yep we'll see how long that lasts okay we, <laughs> we done we happy you got the okay. retardation out of you so are we you can start now? from the top again <laughs> What do you want to talk about tonight? <laughs> <laughs> this seems well deja vu, huh? <laughs> so apparently the eclipse is affecting the quality of the streams on YouTube. I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. We we can't blame that one on the eclipse. This I, it was Christian's fault. Th this was El Nino. El Nino. Yes. Which one? <laughs> All of them. Climate yes. change. Can we stop blaming climate change for everything now? That's become so fucking boring. Can we find another scapegoat to use? Well, you know, whenever you trip over your shit, well, you know, it's climate change. It was change. either that or the patriarchy. You got to pick yeah. one. <laughs> They're both fucking stupid. Can we go back to blaming, I don't know. The climate patriarchy? I have no idea. Man. But I don't think the, the climate is a patriarchy. Change. I thought it was a matriarchy, you know, Mother Nature and all. I don't, the, the I don't patriarchy see change. Do you that, see uh, a patriarchy change? Frequency? Uh, messages? Uh, working on it. Guild it. <laughs> yes, yeah, Star Fury. It is the cows farting. That is what caused the eclipse. <laughs> we have to get rid of all the cows. <laughs> like today. Well, we got to start with the politicians, of course. Otherwise, we're never going to no, be. No, no, no. We have to here. praise the politicians. They're going to help us get rid of the cows. Okay? I mean, I mean, we have to get rid of all the cows. That that's a lot of meat that we can eat. Well, I'm <laughs> not going to eat politician meat. That's disgusting, man. Ew. I have I've, standard. Thank you, Billy. I've never looked at this. The uh, controls to the stream from a mobile before. I've only been on the computer. Do you see how easy it was? <laughs> <laughs> they put that shit right next to each other. Like usually, that's where the if you're not, you know, an admin or the host of the stream, usually right there on the phone is leave so you can get out of it. Yep. It is the end and, button. <laughs> I would have never guessed that that button would be the one to end the stream either. Just because I'm so used to seeing it in the upper right-hand corner that I would have never guessed that was it. Well, you know when I was joking about not pushing the red button? Guess what Jins just did? <laughs> <Pushed the laughs> exactly that. Yeah, and I, I wasn't even responsible for that. So imagine that. You guys yeah, knew yourselves. Chrissy Fine, says, man. well, now that the video is back, Red Dragon is going to be interrupted. What's Red Dragon? It yeah, was that. You're reading the, the, the book? You're watching the movie? <laughs> hey, Effley says, did you know that El Nino is Spanish for the Nino? That's also uh, Spanish for the bastard. All all Latino kids are bastards. It is well known. Hail Royce from a drink with crazy. Good to see you. Hey Royce. Speaking of hey. Oh, speaking now, of now bastards. Roman's gonna hop in here to <laughs> to give to get him good and harassed or something. Yeah, get him in get here. Get him what? Get him in here. 
right now. <laughs> I can't control what Herman does. He's the hedge. No, I'm not talking about Herman. I'm talking about Royce. Get him in here. All right, who's the Oops. nipple? Maji. Hey, what's up? Hey, how's, how's it going? How's it going? Kind of low. Kind of low. So, echo, echo, echo. Who's echoing? Yeah, exactly. Maji, you're Maji, echoing really bad. Really bad. Just give me a second. I'm walking home, so I'm just gonna mute and listen. All righty. Okay. okay, sit in the corner. Sit yeah, the corner. You, you were tough to hear. So for those who couldn't make it out, she said she's walking home, so she's gonna hit the mute and listen while she goes. But yeah, it's like we could barely hear her, but we heard ourselves echoing big time. Phones are like really funky when you try and sign in on here through one of them sometimes. Christy Adcock uh, answers the dragon question Hannibal movie. Oh, yeah. Okay, I figured that's what she was referring to. I'd... Yep. I've never seen that movie. I've only seen Science of the Lambs. That's about it. Yeah, that's probably for the best. Mm. Oh, Royce is uh, doing video and script work. Awesome! I can't wait to see what uh, uh, what was it a uh, Pal World theory you're coming out with soon? This is all one complex excuse to exercise his Pal World addiction to renew it. Let's just be real. <laughs> Star Fury says you are all a bunch of boomers. No, hey, I'm, I'm a Gen, Gen Xer. Xer. Rock Fuck on. <laughs> Fuck you. I'm a fucking... I'm from the 90s. 99 to be specific. I'm a fucking... You're a millennial know. Gen Y. No! No, I'm not. Don't you ever put me with that group again. Do, do you really want to be Gen Z? Come on. Some of the coolest people I know are millennials. Why? What's wrong with that? They are the reason Gen Z exists. Okay. If there were no millennials, Gen Z wouldn't exist. Okay? America can be defined in a single word. <laughs> America is a nation that can be defined in a single word. I was in the foot him. Uh, foot, foot. <laughs> I don't know how. It uh, doesn't that get you good and uh, feeling good and red blooded? Doesn't it? <laughs> no, that, that you know oh. what? That does make me feel a little bit red blooded. It, it fills me with the. With the urge to sell off to whoever pays me more to get the fuck out of here before it all burns down. Frequency, you're dead. To, your to where? By the way. Royce says, uh, what was that? You're clipping that, by the way. <laughs> Royce says, Pal World video tomorrow at 10 a.m. Central. Yeah, and, uh, click on his, uh, click on his thing there and go subscribe to his channel if you aren't already. I think everybody here has already subscribed to him, but yep. yeah, shouting you out anyway. This stream really is just a drink with crazy's chat giving a voice. It's pretty it's much horrifying. <laughs> a big, beautiful chat, unrivaled <laughs> in its testicular fortitude, <laughs> an adoration of goats, and also terrible. our general disposition towards swimming and not wearing jeans like a like a freaking goober. Moving on. Can, can you read Evelie's post in that voice? Millennials, our slogan is: We're not all terrible. No, <laughs> that's a fucking lie. That's a fucking lie. He knows it. He's just lying to himself. I surrender. I tries. Well, thank you for trying to stop in, Maji. Can't wait to have you back on here on a regular basis again. I know real life kind of gets in the way of the fun life, but we miss yeah. you, Boo. Come back. <laughs> I miss the riddle ran out. <laughs> I missed yeah, yeah, I did. Of course, you would miss her, Christian. Makes sense. The, the price for a vampire. Who else would use up. me as a footstool, Billy? Bob? Good luck finding the kitten. Probably hiding in one of the drawers. I think she uses you a little bit more than just a footstool. That's <laughs> not our business, Ugh. Billy. It is my for business. Fun. I am the gremlin. No. Who no, do you think owns the business. street corner? Yes, the Mogwai. <laughs> the prettiest chick there. He ain't even a chick. Yeah, I just, Washington. I, I have skinned rotting animals, and I just threw up a little bit in my mouth. No. <laughs> hey, you know what, Wrangler? I got a question for you. Have you ever seen the, uh, you ever seen the Aristocats? 
I have not. I I remember oh, seeing uh, advertisement over and over for him again. Oh, I love those when, uh, uh, Siamese cats are the <laughs> best part of that movie. I thought that was Lady uh, and the Tramp. Me, we saw some Siamese, if you please. There's some, yes. bum, 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 there's bum, bum, aristocrats bum. with Siamese as well, isn't there? Oh, they were in both of them. Now you're making uh, me question. I, rem- I remember seeing the. Uh, the uh, the trailers for Aristocats was part of some big uh, it was part of some big cassette yeah it was cassette they were doing VHS uh, big sale saying buy it now before it goes back in the Disney vault Dude, was there ever really a Disney vault is is there one Me, like- meaning it's no longer available to buy in stores they they take it off the market that's what it means by going back in the vault. Yeah, they don't, put, they don't put. They don't really put DVD. They don't really put v- DVDs in a vault. Those are for children. Mm. He means the DVDs. Um, yeah, obviously, no. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> Jeez, dude. Well, you know what? I'm gonna be honest here. My oh. head really does hurt because it feels like someone skull fucked it oh. a little bit. Hold on, so. I gotta read the. I gotta read this as if like. I mean, millennials made social media, right? It's a fun place. You're welcome. We made some cool Vidya games. The fuck I like that Vidya. You guys just fucked up Vidya. video games. <laughs> you guys fucked up video games. You, you, we had the masterpiece with Chrono Trigger, and it just went downhill from there. That's your fault. The trippy, if Trippy was here, what the fuck is Trippy anyway? This social media is the devil's playground and will be the destruction of Western civilization. So no thank you will ever be, be given. given. You know what, Star Fury? Even though you're British, you did give us J.R. Tolkien. So for that, you have my eternal gratitude. America didn't give me Tolkien, so I can get fucked. <laughs> And yeah, Maji right. says, yes, the Aristocats have a Siamese. He plays the piano with chopsticks. That's it. <laughs> That's it. I knew it. Wait, wait, wait. Thank you, Maji. Say that again. <laughs> he plays the piano with chopsticks. No, 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 no. Yes. What do you say? Yes. The what? The, <laughs> the, R, the R sauce the cats. cats. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you know what? It's, but she got the word Siamese right. I would have messed that one up. She's on her phone. It's kind of normal to not get aristocrats. Like you she know, is also autocorrect. Dyslexic. Oh. It's okay. Oh no! Actually, y'all were shitting on Maji. I was actually shitting on Frequency because he said aristocrats wrong. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! no, 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 no. <laughs> Wrangler, put Evelie's comment right now. On the screen. Chrono oh, Trigger is like, overrated. Have, have your finger on the mute button. Trippy <laughs> Soul will hunt you down, sir, for that. If he was here. You want to see him? Why would he haunt no. you? Or haunt, haunt me? King. No, hunt. Yeah. Hunt. You know, when you hunt a deer to kill it? Oh, I thought you said like haunt. Yeah, like Ethan, like like Ethan, like uh, Ethan Hunt's brother, Mike. I thought he was gonna appear <laughs> heavily in a cloud of smoke, you know, materialize like a ghost that way. Oh yeah, he's stay safe out there, Trip. The power grid needs you. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. God, we haven't had, we haven't had uh, we haven't had him in here in a while either. It yeah, been. it has been a while. I'm been wondering what he, I, I know he's working. I saw him pop up in Gilded recently, but. He's he there, he's not there very often, at least not while I'm on. Yeah, I miss the man. Even though he probably hates my guts because I'm all about war. He's all about the dude. And, you know, I'm not. The dude. But I still love him. But I still love him now. Not in a gay way. It's totally deeply, gay. deeply homosexual. Moving on. No. <laughs> I was going to sit here and let, let Stormcrow continue on and see where this went, but that's probably a bad <laughs> I idea. Love him. It's hard. never a good idea to let Stormcrow Regularly. <laughs> With both hands. <laughs> I don't, it might not be a good idea to let Kahuna ramble on either. <laughs> what? 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 It only happened one time. What's the big deal? It's just two bros, you know, just kiss each other in the locker room. It's not a weird thing. 
<laughs> Aaron, you know, I had to hold, I had to hold one of the dudes down to get him to stop crying. That's completely normal. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. All right, this went from homoerotic to like a <laughs> homo, homo, homo or, exotic. Uh, is that special the top- victims, you know, episode just now. This is tonight's episode's topics is T- tonight on <laughs> cops. <laughs> The Good game night. was lame when it came out compared to the new stuff. Okay, so you, you each have it to tell a story that ends with the phrase not in a gay way, though. All right, no, well, that was... well, it's like, it's, my, my buddy had one. It was Whenever he'd meet someone new and he, he thought they, they had a good sense of humor, he'd be like, yeah, no, I, it's kind of fun, but I have, I have this collection. It's kind of gay, but, you know, you know, he's like, oh, what is it? Oh, uh, gay porn. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that is kind of gay. <laughs> gay? Why did you wait so long to say it? <laughs> it's like, I really thought about it. It is kind of gay. Just open magic. Just like uh, Christian likes his, uh, he likes keeping... Oh, shush, Billy. This horse is, you, this horse is already... No, it's not dead. <laughs> salad man, cucumber salad man had to leave for a bit. Son of a bitch! <laughs> oh, it's All like right. we're gonna we're gonna put the tape on this man's mouth and then we're gonna talk like a uh, lob lob accusations at him. An hey, innocent hey, man. This is golden, but duct tape is. Oh, I have a voice. Otter was there. Echo. Hey, look, uh, I gotta go. I'm tired, but hey, uh, y'all have a good night, Christian. Whoa. Me and you. I got an idea. I want to have a first law trilogy stream with you. The way we do with Berserk. You Star Fury. Mass Effect's a good game. Put as much any hours as you want into it, you know? Or don't listen to the gremlin. There's that also. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> to the the fucking cucumber salad, man. Something happened. I'd probably have to reread it before doing that, um, Stormcrow. So I'd have to figure well, out when, when that would when that would happen. I could just go base off of that. Hey, hey, guilty. Guilty. What are you asking, guilty. Christian? Hail um, the conquering hero. Da 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 I was going to say Aladdin. It's quite possibly even more grim, dark, and depressing than Game of Thrones, and that's saying a lot. I, I yeah. have some I have some problems with it, but it's a very well it's it's a much better. I, I like the characters more. It, it feels more like inspire. It feels more like a Robert E. Howard story than a Lovecraft and uh, Moorcock inspired story like you get and in even in better George even R. better. Martin. It has an ending. It I ends. don't really like the ending, but it but does it has have an, an ending. ending. It, has it does. An ending. And then there's <laughs> another series too, yeah. Oh yeah, and that, there's a sequel to it that oh. wraps up the story as well. In more complete ways. I, I haven't, know, read, you're, I haven't you're, read that one yet. You're not going over that cliff again, are you, Crow? No, I'm I'm okay. actually gonna get off right now because I'm tired. <laughs> but anyway, uh goodbye. Right, that, that's disgusting. Right. On stream. <laughs> Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> oh, you have a great night before Kahuna twists any more of your words into something horrific. Yeah. <laughs> Kahuna, you don't need to twist cool. his words. He could twist them well enough on his own. With both yeah. hands. With both hands. Good night. Take it easy. Have a good one, Crow. <laughs> Thanks for stopping in. Peace out, hombre. See, si, senor. <laughs> Aspect two. Star Furies. Yeah, go for it. What? I I thought we were both starting to read Star Furies at the same time, and I said go for it. Yeah, he's saying Mass, Mass Effect, Effect is two. two and a half great games. Ah, shut up! But as with all modern, I'm, I'm getting this done. I'm just gonna keep trugging along. Ranking is the shit's bed with the end. All right, <laughs> Mass Effect two is two and a half great games. Do not talk over all me! Writing, it's just the bed with the ending. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Are you saying, Rita? I'm wearing you like a fucking glove! 
Uh, he, he, that he sounds a little odd. I, I think I was about to buy well, the third well, game and then found out that the ending was just three colors, and I was like, really? Okay. <laughs> All, All of right, that effort, it makes you think it's so important. It's like, what color ending would you enjoy? <laughs> well, Evelai says he loves all three. They're all beautiful. And you guys, uh, and you guys remember playing on the Atari twenty six hundred? Yes. Oh yeah. Okay. I, I wasn't there to... when they invented fire frequency, so no. <laughs> oh, dude, you missed it. I know, I did. We, we, <laughs> Adventure. We we had a we had a cookout with that one. Anyway, the uh, anybody remember Superman on there? We have an emulated Superman. version of that on our yeah. on our system, but uh, well, I never played it on the original. I remember when we it was back uh, '80s. My my dad picked it up, picked up the controller, and finished the game. And when he did, it just goes do do do, and then ends. And it's just whatever that last screen was. It's kind of freeze frame there with all the colors changing every couple of seconds. My dad goes. Do do do. That's all I get. He's like, this I sucks. spent my money, my time on this godforsaken game. Well, and I guess all days, I get is a do do do. In those days, game developers didn't expect you to finish the game. So that's true. And, and then when 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 they did, there's like, well, you finished the game. They didn't think to put in an ending or a story or anything like that. I mean, most of it back then, it was still like asteroids and that kind of stuff. Frogger. Yeah, we didn't need a that's story. One, that's one thing that Jump King got right. You get the hot babe at the end, and you fly away into the sunset. It's a wonderful time. Read out. Did you finally get to catch up on Berserk? No. <laughs> Pathetic. Well, anyway. there is a pile of college assignments between me and Berserk. <laughs> You just have to ask yourself, what's really more important? What is most important in life? Berserk or college assignments? <laughs> well, Berserk is far more important in terms of cultural significance. But on the other hand, there's a lot of money in trying to get the funny paper. Conan, this co what is, this most, in what is most important in life? This, this is where you need to learn the difference between what's most important and what's the most urgent. Conan. Berserk? Conan, that's right. <laughs> Conan. Conan is most urgent. Yeah. I, 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 I agree with that too. I'll be back. Original Star Wars. Conan. What also, Star also, Wars? James Earl Jones did such a good job in that movie, in the old uh, Conan movie. Honestly. Oh yeah. Yeah. He killed it, dude. It was awesome. No. Well, well, this I know he didn't. This wasn't any cool camera footage or anything like that. But just that scene where he. He has all of his servant ladies standing up on a cliff above him. He looks up, smiles, and wants to come <laughs> to me, and she just walks off. I'm like, that's freaking tapped. And then there was also the scene where he's like, uh, Conan, I am not your father. <laughs> so any exciting projects coming up that any of you guys have seen? Well, tomorrow we're going to have episode two of Iron Seas, A.C. Pritchard, that's, that's that sauce, and I. Now, and now that, that program is going to be floating back and forth between uh, two or three channels, right? Yeah, it's going to rotate through all three of our channels, and 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 they were they both had time off today, so they I got off I got back into reception after work, and they had like sixty four messages going back and forth talking about. Like they got the gra they got the graph they have the logo and the graph and the mo motion graphic for it already and a whole bunch of other stuff. Oh, nice! I, I have an, I have some audio stuff I'm going to be recording here tonight. Um, I'm basing the it's going to be a conversation between two sailors basically, and it's going to yeah. and he's as part of the mm -hmm. intro. One voice will be based heavily on Barbosa from Pirates of the Caribbean, and the other will be heavily based on Mako, the uh, well from Conan. Actually, thinking about it. <laughs> Kakuna, uh, Kahuna, Kakuna, Kakuna, <laughs> cut the man a break. He has to pay. He has to pay back all that wasted tuition for a degree that poor man will never get to ever use. He should have trained to be an electrician. <laughs> you hear that right out? <laughs> I mean, you're, there's never always gonna, you're never going to use underwater it. welding. <laughs> underwater welding, I hear, is pretty. What about <laughs> underwater basket weaving? The most, most underutilized degree in America. 
No, no, no. I want I want a master's, a PhD in how to diagram a sentence. <laughs> Dislike. Oh, Emily, did you see the logo? The most before? useless skill you could ever learn. Yeah, dude, like, like uh, what what I love about like when you have a group of people collaborating, like AC, Bats, Bats, also, and I kind of we all vibe pretty pretty well. We all like we have a good dynamic, and then like mm -hmm. these guys have skills that I I just do not possess. I have no technical know how, no nothing. AC with all his music and recording kind of uh, experience, and uh, yeah. Bat Sauce has a lot of like uh, he's good with graphic graphics and graphic design and all that, and I am a very loud enthusiastic individual <laughs> and i'm yeah, here to but, help. <laughs> sorry i missed a show last night i i conked off early and got up at 3 30 this morning but i listened to it all on the road and all i got to say is shark bait ooh ha ha shark bait ooh -ha -ha. <laughs> uh, actually that that was just a good nice smooth flowing show right through it, it, was, it was just it was a, a random was a one i decided to yeah i i what's funny is i asked originally i was like I want to have a random stream and I, like chill kid. You and I talked about doing this a while back. Hey, you want to join us? Like, yeah. And then I, he had technical issues. He couldn't join us, but you know, it was a good time. <laughs> a AC Pritchard, once again, reminding us to smack that like button. Thanks AC. Appreciate it. Wait, wait, I have to say it in voice. What up party people. Don't forget to smack that like button. <laughs> Oh, I was expecting it. the big booming voice of the voice changer to be activated. And no, 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 no. If I'm doing AC, <laughs> a a a like if I some voices, you have to go the other way. It's like AC, uh, AC, or uh, Richard from Iron a Iron Age Media. Oh, I, I didn't realize you were you were emulating him. I thought you were gonna. Oh do one no, of yours. no, no, not this time. You want? I could do it differently. Bring it back up. Bring it back up. But you have to be two of him. What a party, people! Don't forget to smack that like button! Give it a good little... Come on! I'm gonna see you this Sunday night! And if you don't smack that like button, I'm taking you downtown this Monday night! <laughs> there can only be one! Your body slams you so hard that it moves three times. That's why it started off on Sunday and ended up on Monday. I'll choke slam you so hard your mother will spit you out! Anyway... <laughs> I don't know what that means. <laughs> that sounds. I'm so not gonna wrong. break that. <laughs> oh, that's the next stream. Have a great night, Star Fury. It was good to see you. Star Fury, good luck in your country. Be a shame if you had a lot of illegal immigrants ruining it. Go on, be free. <laughs> oh. Okay, that's oh, well, that's not better. That's better. Okay, <laughs> it's like I, you guys don't actually know this has been my fake voice the entire time. I actually sound a, a, bit, more like, a bit more like this. <laughs> it is my lot in life, but you know you get used to it. Who is the announcer from Art Bell? You know, from East of the Rockies, dial one eight hundred. He had this wicked deep voice, but it was his real voice. A lot of people thought it was somebody using the voice changer, but. He from was a newscaster out west. east of the Rockies, the studs are moving across the fields of Wyoming into the Powder River country this evening at three. I have no idea. Never heard him before. <laughs> I, I always like a Bruce Buffer from uh, from uh, UFC. It's time! <laughs> Actually, that, that, you got the perfect reverb there just saying, let's get ready to rumble. Let's get ready to rumble! Is that a mix between <laughs> Chewy and R2? No, it sounds... it's just when I when I turn down the pitch, it sometimes it messes with the audio a bit. So like like I'll do, I'll do the Wookie do. The you sounded sound like R2 and pitch, Chewie's yeah. lost love child. Looks over. I can feel it calling in the air. Oh wait, that's not right. I think you need to remove Kyle That's Phil Collins. See? Somebody left R2 and Chewy too long in the back of the Millennium Falcon. <laughs> Evelyn's going to take off too. Yeah, Evelyn. Have a good night, Evelyn. And hello, A.S. Bernard. Evening from Philly, he says. Good to hello. see you, man. Goodbye, Evelyn. Oh, Have wow. a good night, brother. Enjoy hockey. What are you doing in Philly? 
Is that your real voice? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's after Mod you get through with him. What's he doing in Philly? <laughs> I, I I was hoping that we we could stop for just one night. No, Christian. <laughs> We're just getting started. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Whoa. More Christian and Maji. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Thank goodness we're not live anymore. <laughs> no. <laughs> It'd be a shame if the entire internet had come to see this. All right. Uh, Christian, say that again so we can use this for a promo. For his, uh, yeah, say it nice and clear so we can clip it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, Frederick, what Dan Stan's revolution, uh, uh, like, uh, kind of steps does he have to do to make it go forward? Uh, you just have to lean forward. It's like a, a Segway. Have you ever been on a Segway? What happened um, for about 15 forward? seconds, yes. <laughs> well, that's the same principle. You could probably Frederick, stay. Yes. What happens when he thrusts forward? Does that move that, it? That's another comic book. <laughs> oh! No, 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 no. That's the uh, French version. Actually, no. I think the French just uh, fly on a, with a white flag. Is that correct, or am I wrong? Oh, you oh. did not say that. <laughs> you're lucky. You're out in Hawaii on the other side of the world, of the uh, continent. Uh, Christian is like yes. arch, uh, his arch nemesis. Of like the female, like sidekick, is a, a razor. What? What? Because French women don't shave. Oh, <laughs> well, you're mixing uh, up the French French and the French. Oh, Canadian. no hair. Have you ever seen what a Samoan woman looks like, brother? The hair is the least of the problems. All right. Damn. Calm Do down. They, don't they plait the yard pair? Who, the French or the, or the Samoans? <laughs> yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> No, those those Samo like your average Samoan woman could could beat up your average city dwelling white guy no problem. Those are like some <laughs> of the toughest people on the planet. Remember Lilo and Stitch, the big oversized giant shark alien? They're like, "Where are you from?" He's like, "Uh, uh I, uh, I'm Samoan." Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was in the show. It was great. I was like, you know, not that far off. <laughs> I once saw one of those guys pick up a 55 gallon drum full, like half full of water, and awesome. just like pick it up and put it wow. on the back of a truck. Guilty. We got impressed. That's like, impressive. I know because I've tried to do it. It's 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 impossible, but he did it. <laughs> Guilty. Oh. We gotta get you on next week's stream. <laughs> Which one? Oh, next fourth week. wing. Oh no, no shit, AS. That's awesome. The next weekly wing it. Why? Oh, cool. Why? Just why? Paid. No reason. Nothing in particular. What are you going to do to him, Billy? What are y'all going to do to him? You have him surrounded. <laughs> Whatever we want. <laughs> and I just noticed you're down there, but not over here. I just realized you're not in the panel. Who? Hey, Raven's in the panel. He's right there. I don't see him. Oh, yeah, God. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I, Raven, I was looking for the look for the smell the wall. Of the coin. You know how much you talk <laughs> about currency and you can't figure yeah. out what the has a profile picture of coins? It's the shiny stuff. Damn it, Raven, defend Ooh, yourself. Shiny. <laughs> Use it for fish bait. Yep. Shiny, shiny. How many times do you have to look a silver coin before you're sure? <laughs> before you what? All, all the times. It's the same amount of times you need to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop. Mm, a lot. <laughs> Holy smokes. 3.5 out of 7. That was my first year in the under 1600 ratings bracket. Like, for reference, I've never gotten a rating a, much above 1,000. Back when I was practicing and playing a, 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 fair, a fair amount. I also never had a coach either, so that would probably help. But no, I, I played AS uh, chess a little while ago. He uh, beat me like a redheaded stepchild more than once. It was good. It was fun, though. It was good. Uh, I, I wanted to get a strategic advantage in chess, so I tried to equip them all with firecrackers. Apparently, they frowned on that. 
<laughs> whenever, when, whenever, 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 whenever my opponent would move the queen, I would just slap him across the face. That was my. But they eventually learned to stop. <laughs> anyway, let me for AC. Yes, let me think. My friend flew into DC and was going to cross the bridge, but ended up having to take a two-hour Uber. Ooh, that sucks. Oh wow. Did you ever see those slap competitions, Kahuna, where they each take turn yeah. to give a, a slap as strong as they could? Concu one word, concussions. Yeah. <laughs> but many, imagine many you would you mix that with chess. So each time you take an enemy's pawn or piece, you get one shot at them. Uh, I, I hate to tell you this, Frederick, but that's already happened. <laughs> Some YouTubers that I follow, they uh, one of them put together a chess boxing tournament last year. Yeah. And that's a real sport, too. He didn't make it up, but he did it hosted with a bunch of uh, like YouTubers and personal online personalities. <laughs> and then the last one was a surprise match. Uh, cause the, but the one guy, the guy who's supposed to participate didn't show up. So it was the host and this other guy, YouTuber I follow. They ended up having a slap, a slap bet, a slap chess contest. But why are they going to combine it with dodgeball? That would be fun. That would be fun. A lot harder to do though. Ooh. A lot harder to do. It's like, yeah. it's like for the chat, like, uh, the, uh, chess boxing. It's like, uh, two minutes of, uh, chess, two minutes of boxing. Whoever wins, w w whoever wins. One of them first wins the whole thing, so it's like <laughs> some people. Some people didn't even train for the boxing. Just that like, sounds exhausting. Yeah. Oh, it's anyone, awful. Yeah. Imagine getting anyone, punched in the face and then trying to play chess. Does anyone make it to checkmate or do they uh, just get actually killed? more more than you think? Because these are like <laughs> freaking uh, L.A. A lot half of them are like L.A. based like influencers, so they're not like some of them did train to fight and you could tell but a lot of them are just like they've never been punched in the face before <laughs> and they're not they're all they also don't know how to punch properly so that was fun actually the women's round was one of the best ones honestly make a fist and then move your arm like it's the rook <laughs> well, well my Back in the day, my uh, brother was trying to teach my sister how to punch, which is funny because he didn't know how to punch either. But he's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, it, ge it generates from your shoulder. I'm like, that's true. And then he does a terrible punch, and I don't say anything. She's like, all right, from the shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> like, roll it out like a dance move was great. <laughs> is she going to defeat her opponent with pop and lock? Uh, basically, yeah, no, she, my sister danced from, like, age, age eight to, um, like, maybe age 19 or so. She was supposed to, um, go join the Rockettes in New York, but decided oh, wow. she was done with professional dance, which is good, because there's a lot of weird crap that goes on in that world. Moving on. Good point. Doesn't surprise <laughs> me. What was that? Doesn't surprise me. Yeah, yeah, but, or it's like, uh, uh, Katie Pritchard, I was talking to her, she was into, uh, she was a model for many, many years, lived in Korea doing that for a living and traveled to different parts of the world. And she had some stories, dude. It's, it's, it's so, there's so much weird, sketchy crap. Like, it's like, oh, we booked you for a job and you get there and you're like, you're staying in like basically this halfway house in these, uh, <laughs> dorms with underage kids and it's mold, it, it's both genders, dorm kind of situation. It, it was, it was a lot. No, that doesn't stuff. sound uncomfortable at all. No, no, the real fun part was the party where they in Mexico City where they went to is all these like older rich uh rich men with all these mm. younger uh and sometimes underage yeah. models and the uh, parties and you know all the things that happen at parties. That's yeah. disgusting. So how do you get invited to those parties? <laughs> it's like, "Oh, that's disgusting." But Jeffrey, where? I think I think you have to uh get a Jeffrey flight. <laughs> you have to get the You have to get on the list. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, the list that doesn't exist, surely, surely. I mean, it'd be a shame if the man died uh, in, in uh, protective custody. Yeah, it'd be a shame. What a shame. What a shame. Happens to the best of them. Epstein's hostile. It's like it's like the, it's like Epstein's cousin with the same name, but he just doesn't have the same resources. <laughs> no, 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 no. This one is Epstein. It certainly is not. It's the, it's the, it, yeah, right. Yeah, it's the whole Mandela effect. It used to be Berenstein, now it's Berenstein, or is it the other way around? I don't know. I always heard it was Berenstein. That's how I read it growing up. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. And, and then we have. I think I I actually grew up reading it. The Berenstein Bears. I I don't know what they're saying it is right now. I've heard it. 
I can't keep track. I thought the eclipse canceled out the Mandela effect. We're back <laughs> on the main timeline now. I, I thought it gave everybody oh. superpowers like in the TV show Heroes. What, you guys don't have superpowers? I mean... I, have like the, I don't have the ability to get headaches. I can wake up in the morning. I can see light. <laughs> it actually took away my uh, it took it took away my eyesight. I have to feel things out when I'm out in public. I always just I just walk around going like this. Oh, very just blind. like Daredevil. I, I I can't see. I can't see. Did o- o- always hands about this far apart, right about here. There you go. That's how I, I can sense around. my way through the world with the power of synesthesia. There you go. That Did is it? a superpower. <laughs> Ask Daredevil. Uh, what are you referencing, Fu Man? Yeah, like Jif peanut butter. What do you mean? What is that in reference? Yo, are you talking about the peanut butter M and M's I'm munching on over here? My greatest weakness. Dude, peanut butter M and M's are the best. They're great. I like them better than Reese's Pieces. Um, most of the time, I I agree. Well, the thing is, not that I'm not saying Reese's are bad, but Reese's are peanutty and sugary, where the M and M's are peanutty and buttery. Yeah, I agree. But what, like, I think if I had to pick a single candy, like brand that was best, Reese's is it. Is it. Oh but, yeah. yeah, they're 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 Christmas they're they're Christmas peanut butter trees and eggs are freaking fantastic. I this love is why you get the uh, you get the dark chocolate. <laughs> Oh, yo, brother, you want some of that dark chocolate, boy? It's the only one I really like eating. <laughs> okay. You'll wear the white one in are fucking great as well. They're great to go in an ice cream milkshake. Now I'm seeing Jiffy and Skip. All I want now is a fluff and nutter. Peanut butter and fluff? Sounds good. That sounded very wrong, whatever you just said, <laughs> right? <laughs> what? Fluff or nutter? <laughs> <laughs> yo, yo, you know what I gave her last night? The fluff a nutter. <laughs> well, I never heard it used in con- that context, but it sounds like fun. <laughs> oh, jeez, dude. It was like we had we had this uh guy we call what do, what did we name him? His name was Donnie, and I think his biggest problem in, for in construction was that he was just stupid. I think it was just intelligence that he was lacking. But oh well, well he had a he had a, the Joe Dirt haircut like the mullet is like <laughs> the straight, mullet. it was like straight long it went like halfway down his back and my dad was talking to uh, his buddy Terry he's like hey uh, is is it wrong not to hire someone because of their hair he's like you can choose not to hire someone for whatever reason you want you just can't fire them for that <laughs> like, mm, okay okay uh, guilty gearhead says Wrangler just went Boston well I am in New England Boston. So. Boston. Get in the car. Go, go, go park the car in the dooryard. Get some coffee. Wicked storm coming. Your ma's <laughs> called. I do I do love uh, books. Wicked awesome. <laughs> Wicked. No, what, what I'm amazed by is that there are people in your part of the world that surf. That is pretty cool. On the coast. Well, over at Watch Hill, we can get some good waves because that's beyond the sound, so it's open ocean. You try uh, and do that like anywhere off of Connecticut Beach, you good luck. If, you might be it, able to it, boogie board, cold but and, it's cold and miserable. Why would people do it? I know this the time of year is now. We are later in the year is when we're warmer because, like, you can go out in April or May or June and it's like 80 degrees, hazy, hot, and humid. You go to get in the ocean, it's like because it takes a lot. Yeah. There's a lag between the temperature difference in the seasons. It, even in Washington, even during the midst of a hot summer, the Pacific here is very, very cold. Very, very cold. Yeah. But let me but, guess in like uh, almost into November, you probably have warmer ocean water at that time. Um, no. Not that you want to go in the ocean at that time because it's cold out, but you ever do the uh, January 1st polar bear plunge? Uh, no, I just go swimming whenever I'm by the water, pretty much. <laughs> I, I don't call it a polar plunge. Anymore. My mom's like, oh, you want to do a polar plunge? It was like 75 degrees out, and like, it's it's a, it, like, Lake Taps is glacier, fl- or is, is glacier fed, but I'm like, this is not a polar plunge, mom. Or, ma, that's not a polar plunge. 
<laughs> well, when, when I did it, it was January 1st in here, it was cold. However, I would rather do it January 1st than early spring because it's colder in early spring inside that water. Yeah, yeah. For me, I like, well, what, like uh, in Alaska, we were at the natural hot spring. And I convinced a group of uh, these uh, drunk uh, college frat kids uh, to join me. And we would get out of the hot spring, which was hot enough to... Like, if you went to the rock in the wrong area where the where the geothermal was coming up, yeah. it would melt you, dude. It was, it was so hot. Oh, wow. But we would get... It was negative five degrees out. So water, like, waist level with, like, give or take seven or eight inches, depending on the depth. And my hair is frozen in its weird patterns. <laughs> I was, like solid as ice so i convinced him i'm like hey we're gonna get out in negative five degrees we're gonna go lay down in the in the cold non-geothermal river and then we're also <laughs> gonna lay down in the snow face on, on our on our front for uh five to ten minutes at a time that was that was cold that cold just enough. sounds like a great thing to do to kill time i was also walking around wearing a tank top there in you know negative five to about eight degrees that was i used time. to be able to walk outside barefoot in the snow and just be slightly cool a, a little little chilly it didn't used to bother me then i dropped 100 pounds and i'm like oh so this is what cold is have y'all watched, have y'all watched this clip before i know I what think this is so. about harry calmly I always I always did love that. It's like yeah. and Dumb Dumbledore came over to Harry and calmly whispered, Harry, did you put your name into the Goblet of Fire? No, sir. In the movies. Harry! <laughs> did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire? Fucking great. Grab him. Detention! Yeah, <laughs> Grabs him by the throat, slams him against the wall. <laughs> uh, if, if I had a team of actors and cameras, I would shoot this spoof. Harry Potter getting sent to detention. The Breakfast Club. Hogwarts oh. Breakfast Club. Harry Potter <laughs> Breakfast Club mash. Don't you <laughs> forget about me. <laughs> oh, oh, a dungeon oh. club? Is it a castle? <laughs> the Butterbeer Club? I don't know. Second <laughs> Breakfast Club. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I like it. I'm down. Da- I'm down with it. By hey, the uh, way, the amount of un- the H- Hagrid's fucking entire plot in the first and second one is just ridiculously stupid. The first one, he's like, "Oh, I'm gonna quit drinking, never again." Second book, he's fucking wasted. <laughs> he he had a pretty rough go. That guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that, man. I'll, also, Billy, I think you and I may have ha- may have to have the great Harry Potter debate at some point. I have to reread the books. And Hagrid works hard, man. Anyone? What is the Harry hard? Potter debate? Oh God! The one that Billy read out was like, "Fuck!" <laughs> was I not supposed to ask that? <laughs> no, but here we are. Proceed. <laughs> so <laughs> lay it on me, Billy. Bob's gonna say, "Oh, you're misrepresenting." So, anyways, I'll explain it perfectly. <laughs> Christians under the belief that each one of the uh, like major action parts of the books are 100% gray and not anticlimactic at all. You know. There you go. You're full of shit. That's not what I said. <laughs> <laughs> Sack of shit. <laughs> we couldn't no, 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 no. Billy, Billy was saying the, the, it, the ending, of what, the first thing he ever said was the ending of the Harry Potter books are very anticlimactic. Yes. Is what he said. Okay. Listen to this. Everyone listen. The final fight between hey Voldemort... Hey, guys, listen, listen. The final fight between Voldemort and Harry is they're w- walking around in a circle at each other, talking like it's high school, and everyone's watching them. Harry and them both shoot off one spell, and then Voldemort falls over dead. That's it. 
Ready First of all, the, mo the movie ruined that, that climactic moment in the books by a long, long ways. They took something that was very fundamental to the story and to the way that the undercurrent of magic works within the their universe, and they turned it into... They the basically book? reversed it in the movies, and the movies ruined what it. What does that have to do with the book? It, The books did it right. The thing that you're no, whining about. the books about, did it wrong. You're retarded. The books did it so fucking wrong. No, Besides, they didn't. No, the whole idea fire. was that... The whole idea, whether you agree with it or not, was that love... Is a, is a powerful form of magic Whoa, all on its own. Is that what you're and because, how Disney. And because yeah, Harry do do? Di technically oh, died, his he left this mortal coil for a minute in order to protect everybody at Hogwarts. Voldemort could no longer hurt them. It was his own spell reflecting off of the crowd of people that ended his own life. He died by his own life, and he died like any other man, because that's all he ever was. It's that it would have been a lot cooler if he just shot him. If one, but sure. Continue. What was that, Billy? Except he can go toe-to-toe uh, toe -to -toe with Dumbledore in the fifth one, but sure. Yeah, he was able to, because the magic that I'm talking about hadn't been activated. You dumb son. Oh. Oh, yeah, he's, he's like... And I remember we well, first time we argued about this, we were talking like all the Harry Potter books have anticlimactic endings. They all do. Yeah, all stabbing a snake they're, in the head is really anticlimactic. Books. They are incredible mystery books. Yes, they once are. Once you get to the actual fucking like climactic part, they're they fall face fall to the ground. You know. You are high. What are you oh. smoking, you gremlin? I to be boring even with wand lasers. Wand. Oh. Wand. Harry, we got our wands twisted again. I see your Schwartz is as big as my... We need Mel Brooks to do a Spaceballs version of Harry Potter. We do. We do. Dude, they wrote a Spaceballs 2 and it's never going to get made. I know. It's so sad. I hope it never gets made, especially with modern day. Uh, hi, how are you? Hi, I hi I kind of agree. I don't want that ever made. Read yeah, out. Sports. You shut your whore mouth. Oh, I read think out. I agree with read out. I'm going to guess here, read out. You don't want it made because they'll just wreck it. Yes. Yeah, something like that. I'm, 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 I'm on yeah. board with you. Read no, out. let, let, Mel Brooks is still alive. By so, somehow, he is still but alive. There's no John Candy. Read out. <sighs> You missed last night's conversation on the stream because they brought up the legend of horror. No. I've been informed about this. We're gonna have we're gonna have that we're gonna do that stream at some point too. Yeah, I'll probably. <laughs> I'm, be. I'm, I'm gonna invite Royce just because that's where it came from originally. <laughs> oh, you got to bring me on there because I'm just being nonstop talking shit, <laughs> <laughs> pissing Royce oh. off. You'll just hear me rant forever and ever. Just, just talk to him about feet. Basically, Bat Sauce and I were disagreeing in a in a not confrontational way. Billy and uh, AC was just like, I, I see both sides. I like peace. It's great. No, I, I love you. AC. It's good. But... <laughs> and I'll just be there ranting for like two hours, like how the Korra saw me shipping is complete bullshit. Oh, that I we will. No one will disagree with that. It is BS. He sleeps it's... with everyone except for Bolin, the best character. But but she does go on a date with him. She does. She does. And basically uses him just so he can, she can get to Mako. I know. I I actually like Bolin. But did everybody like they actually Bolin. originally intended that. Or you think it was they got later on there? Like, I oh, think they intended it somewhere in book two or three, but not from the beginning. No. Right. So I I do I, I do see where there were kind of things hinting towards that eventually, but most of that was in the last season. A lot of that didn't really exist in seasons two and three. There were no clam foreshadowing. Uh, book two, dear lord! What hey, Cora, do you like sea? Do you like do you like seafood or shellfish? <laughs> Some clam chowder. Chowder. Come on, frequency. I think we scared, think we scared him. No, we scared him away. He's gone. Just chowder. imagine in a show 
just imagine you're leading to the finale of the show and you've been <laughs> hyping up that you have this big rail gun that looks like it came out of like the second world war it's like awesome we've got to see it tested out I, it was a cool design i was like it, it, it was cool it was cool jewish space lasers where's the button <laughs> <laughs> and instead of having this awesome rail gun, what do you do? Oh, we're putting a generic mecha in it. We have a mech. A fully CGI mech, which does not mesh in well with the rest of the animation. Uh, that, it certainly doesn't. Now, I know you're saying, well, that sounds cool, Max. No, because nowhere before were we really told that like the technology to have a massive, giant kaiju-sized mech existed in this world. Yeah, they're they're, they're and it's just like, generic the design. It's just like it's okay. Also, they had contingency. Like I don't know. Yeah, it's a highly impractical weapon now with it being a mech too. It's Keep a, in mind, like the technology at this point is like fucking nineteen twenties, nineteen thirties as well. <gasps> is what you're shown in that show? Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. God, that finale of uh, for book four to end that show was so mid and so lame. It's and like there were some real, there was some like really good thing. stuff in season four too, which there makes was. it so it's what makes it so damn disappointing. <laughs> book four peaks at Zalfu, the fight at Zalfu. It's like it's all downhill from here. Uh, honestly, season three was peak Korra by far. It wasn't right even close. So yes. she ended the series and then turned around at the camera and said, "No more cock." <laughs> oh yeah and if you decide well let's see where this plot goes in the comics don't literally the whole first comic oh. is just them trying to like quote unquote well actually everybody is gay in this universe now and it's just so ham fist it's like can we have like a real plot read out have, like, real conflict? they didn't even kiss so they held hands oh, well, no, the, what how, how bad is the art or is it's... it just like the show clippings and then made into art no, yeah, I wish it was the show clip things made into art. It's it's pretty sub, it's pretty generic. It's some like, some of, some of the Avatar comics have okay art, others kind of don't. It's the the Avatar can share it so we can look at yeah, it. Yeah, the Avatar comics have just progressively started with okay, this is fine too. This is a waste of money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. And plus, like you, like honestly, like a show like with with the bending, you really do want motion. <laughs> Try, like trying to translate that to the page is really tough. Chowder bending. <laughs> Chowder. I just nope. I can't say that. Anyway, all right, guys. <laughs> oh, when you even go, there's like nope. <laughs> it must be something special. Uh, nope. yeah. If I if I choose not to say it, it's pretty. Marjorie, you've joined us. Right now, you found it yet, Mark? So, uh, I just found out I am, like, the worst handyman in the world. More Why like a handy ma'am. Anyway. The worst? You are a woman, so. Yeah, yeah that, 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 oh, okay. that's... You know, I, I asked on Gilded, like, okay, is this the right, uh, cock I need for, uh, the... the <laughs> what? Oh, my flower. oh, how could you break the news to that? Maji, can you say that again? Cock. <laughs> she needs some more cocking, you know? Well, apparently my phone didn't understand what I was saying, and I gave poor Tim Allen a hand uh, a heart attack because you gave him a what? I don't think hold, up, hold, up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. You're fixing to say you gave him what? A heart attack. No, 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 no. The other H word. I don't know what the hell it was. Anyway, so I give him a hand. I, you know? say, I, I don't give him think a heart I attack him. from the hand. <laughs> I, I don't think I have a strong enough uh, grip to use a, a, a cock tool in my Crazy! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! Margie, no! <laughs> she said, I need more cock. No. Did you plan this? <sighs> or is it just coming natural? Margie, this was supposed to be on the next stream. Next you week. know where to clip it. Dear Penthouse, you won't I'm believe what happened to me. I, I tried really, really hard. I'm like, okay, so I grabbed the wrong stuff, and then I, I also remembered, oh yeah, I there was a small fire in one of the oven drip pans. Or the stove top. Yeah. 
Yeah. So I just check on Tim Allen because she gave him a she gave him a, a heart attack from her hand with the cock. Let let her speak. Let her speak. I want to hear the rest. Of it. <laughs> Me too. So I I, I ha- there was a slight fire under one of the burners, so I needed to grab new uh new you know the little stovetop pan things, mm. right? See. Apparently, there's different types because the one I got doesn't fit. Oh. <laughs> That's how you're just going to cock it? Apparently. But, you know, I don't have a cock to do it. <laughs> no, you just borrow someone else's cock. Maji, it's called cock. You got to say it and pronounce it. Oh. <laughs> Hey, you know what? My bookshelf is still standing, the one I built, even though my brother laughed that it wobbled, okay? It's still standing. I'm very proud cock? of it. What? Something I'm not it. knocking your technique. I'm knocking your your enunciation. Oh goodness. You're not Australian. You we we in America we say calk. We don't we don't Oh care my god, say. it's art. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> but see, that's the thing. It just needs Oh my God, it, it just needs to patch so like a little three inch, little tiny, little itty bitty crack. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, This uh, is on uh, purpose. <laughs> this is on purpose. I swear to God. She knows do we, do we finally like uh, make Maji a beginner? Cult, like cult, cock, cult, cult. <laughs> Are you forming a cult? <laughs> it's a cock cult. It's cult. <laughs> Is it diet <laughs> cock? <laughs> okay. Imagine you just yeah. this conversation. Yeah. We get hey, another anyway, video. Come, 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 come down right. the way here in Sydney. We, uh, if you got a, a hole in your dick, come yeah, down here. Right. You'll find us with the big black cock. Yeah, the no, no, no. talk of cock and hands and heart attacks. Uh, Three inch cracks, the whole thing. Uh, it's a beautiful art. No, I'm not talking cock. I'm talking cock. Cock, cool, crazy. Holy crazy. Crazy. Cock at first. <laughs> you, you were saying cock for like 10 minutes there, Machi. <laughs> no. I wasn't trying to say cock. Well, my you were saying cock, cock the entire time. <laughs> yeah, you were it's doing cult. it very successfully. <laughs> you were saying, hold up. You were saying it's cock. Cult. You were giving Tim uh, Allen a hand. No, I was giving Just Tim Allen a hand. Your, co- your yeah. cock's not big enough. And then you're saying, uh, you know, you had to fill the three inch crack with the cock. <laughs> Except the cock didn't fit. And... <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Let's look at this. It's cool. All right. Uh, now look at the legend of horror art. I, lo- I love you, Maji. Love you, Maji. <laughs> but you just got here. Cora, please. I didn't mean to upset you. It's too late for that. What the hell is this? Is she lesbian? Uh, yeah, you didn't see the end of the show where they held hands. Clearly, they have deep, scissoring romantic feelings for each other. I want to point out, I just took this from the Avatar wiki with, like, no real context. Like, it just kind of, like, just skimming through. And then you just start reading this the This kind of looks like, like a fan God. comic. I hope it is. I, is there... No, this is official. Is there... What? It's like, is there any considerable conflict? None. There's no, like, proper conflict in, like, the first book. They try to build up to, like, some turf war stuff Frederick. and... Wait, what state. definition of turf do you mean in turf war? I'm not going to answer that, but I, I guess because <laughs> gangs are trying to take over Republic City, because, well, Republic City's been nuked several times over, metaphorically, in this show. They've been fighting over the Brazilian strip. Oh, is this, <laughs> is this panel supposed to be her, the water tribe telling her that uh, we don't like fags? <laughs> What? I'm reading the dialogue. And that's that's what I drive tradition for you people. Like to keep family matters private. No one's going to disown you for coming out. But our culture would prefer you to keep it to yourself. Is that supposed and to be how, Katara? And how did Aang react when you told him? He was nothing but supportive. You know, the no, perfect that's character. Katara, that's, no, Katara that's, Katara Katara, that's, that's one of their. That's one of Aang and Katara's uh, children. Uh, it, it, her name's Kaya, and she was yeah, an interesting Kaya. character until, yeah, oh, that. Right. This one don't look too bad. It doesn't look too good either. No, no it don't I look like... good, but it doesn't look too bad. <laughs> and again, it's a fireman shot. Holy fuck! <laughs> yeah. Whoa! What happened? What? <laughs> I what? don't. What happened? <laughs> 
She and the Airbenders had they a were terrible the portal a few days, few days prior to Takoga, Taga, showing up. Who? Wan Young guy. This Wang Young. <laughs> Who the fuck is Wan Young? What are you talking about? Look at the are you line. talking about the owl Wan Shi Tong? No, they're talking about a character. He's like referring to this panel that we're looking at. Yeah, it says, yeah, uh, Cora said that this Wan Young guy threatened the airbenders if they didn't get off his land. No one get off threatens my Paul. Why did they make them look like children? They're adults for a while at this point. What the fuck? Is it supposed to be a flashback? Oh my! F- no, because they're in uniform. Why she has is, a man? She has a man's did, body, by the way. What artist? Oh, crap! What Fiverr artist did they hire for this? What is this? This is like Microsoft Frederick. Paint. No, Frederick would have done a good job. Frederick, her boobs are too small. Yes. Her shoulders are awesome. I agree. Hands. Well, uh, no, uh, yeah, to be fair, so that was kind of... Cora was always kind of like that, to be fair. That was always kind of... Yeah, but that's a man's shoulder. That's not like a buff. Right now, just, okay. my Jesus Christ. That's like a straight, you know... That's man's shoulders. That's not buff woman. I, no, I have, yeah. I've met women with shoulders like that. Well, her neck is small. I'll yeah, well, was there was there original name called Harry or something? Like but that? the last no, no, chick with the she, shoulders. She, 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 she also had the rack to match. She did. Shoulders are big. Yeah, they're a bit big. I think Billy Bob's right on the money with that. That was like always kind of her character design, though. I'm sorry, but not even in the show. The show was not like that. Like yeah, I get it, it, the athletic body. Look at okay, Effer. Hold on, I'm pulling it up. Sack of shit. Hold on. Gonna argue with me about Coral? Let's go. Yeah, just pull up a picture from the show. I remember that Star Wars girl did something similar about uh, Captain Carter from the What If uh, shows. Because she was saying, look, she her shoulders are too wide. And she took and just modified a picture of her from the show. Just brought her shoulders in just a bit. And holy crap, what a difference. It, it, it made her look so much more feminine without yeah. taking away any I'm, of the power of her look. It's super subtle. Like I said, like you can shift I'm, a line one millimeter and it'll do a big change sometimes. But like I'm saying, that's man's shoulder. That's, no, it's not a... Yeah, there's that's a, a lady boy in that. Girl. Like, she didn't have ginormous tits. And it's blood. just a horrible iteration of the character designs. It, yeah. It's just bad. It is bad. This art is bad. Let me hold on. Get rid of you. There we go. Now you're gonna have to sign an NDA. <laughs> non disrespect agreement. It's not the best example, it's just the quickest one I could find. See her shoulders are smaller there. Are they though? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, they at least yeah, they see, look in proportion to the done. rest of the yeah, they are. She is athletic, but she's not. Look, right. look, 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 look. In the right panel, her right shoulder is very large. You see what I'm saying, Christian? A little bit. Yeah, the designs are just bad. <laughs> like, she has a man's body in this fucking comic. They give her more uh, bicep in, or, or is there a little more it's tricep a man, in uh, baby. this version? Yeah, and as and as much as I shit on the show, I, Cora actually does look like a chick in the fucking show. Uh, it, I think AC is uh, right on the money with that comment. Well, I mean, look at her chin <laughs> from that view. It's very Cora, can, you, Cora, can, Maji, can you read that for us? Yeah. Cora has what? Say it, Maji. Cora has plenty of cult. 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 Oh, Maji, I love you. That's, uh, this is great. Let's go back to the home improvement segment oh. by Maji. Cult. Cult. Right? Cult. No, cult. Cock. <laughs> you an L. L- yeah, there's an L in there. Cock. Cult. 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 Uh, this is just destroying Maji, by the way. <laughs> She's like, no, oh. guys, I swear I didn't say cock. None of this happened before the eclipse. 
<laughs> Dude, you're talking to the person that showed a stuffed beaver on stream, not realizing they were talking about something else. My brother was kicking my beaver. beaver earlier. <laughs> <laughs> Maji, you were petting your beaver on stream. Huh? Look how fuzzy it is. Yeah. Which reminds me, for those of you on Rumble, pound that plushie. Matter of fact, I need to do a wellness check on uh, Tim Allen. No, actually, we're not on Rumble right now. When when oh. I had to restart the stream, I wasn't able to bring it back. Yeah. All right. Oh. Someone's gonna have to clip the part of Maji saying that uh, she gave uh, Tim Allen a hand and a heart attack. Uh, heart attack. Uh, Billy, I I don't know what she said exactly, but I know you're kind of. You're, there's, there was something there, yeah. Dude, she literally started off, she about to say hand. She's like, no, he got a heart attack. Guilty, you say it with the L, so you're not saying cock. That's why you say it with the L. I don't care if it sounds weird to you. It's weirder to say, hey, give me that cock. <laughs> That's a weird, much weirder thing to say on the job site, especially when you're still working. You have to save that for afterwards. It's even weirder when someone just hands you a freaking rooster. Christian, you're such a liar. You know all your fucking like uh, the employees working with you are all just making cock jokes with it. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure, yeah. But yeah, no. oh, watch my cock. What the hell was that voice? Is that what do you think my workers sound like? <laughs> exactly like that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh no, I did. I did see someone uh, replace a guy's hammer with a. Uh, Silicone apparatus for the feminine enjoyment of certain activities. And it was fun. Yeah. And you guys were giving me crap over the penis game. Look at you, asshole. <laughs> hey, James, I didn't notice. You. Yeah, he, he kind of has a silver barrel on that one. Oh, well. Also, what, also James, what the hell are you talking about? I just, I just want to clarify. Penis game. It's probably much more innocent than what's going on in here. Uh, no, consider wait. yourself a, a, a middle schooler in your classroom, and then oh, yelling you penis. and your friends, yeah, 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 yeah I know that. One game. whispers penis, and then you say it loud. You're the only person here that does. When I first said it, everybody just you know, uh, not all of us play up. with penises, you know. Yeah, not the way it sounds like five minutes ago. <laughs> Some people say panda, but yeah, that's listen, true. That, that, that's the, the one who was bringing up all the cock, you know. That's that's true. It's for it, okay, guys. For reference, I don't care what part of the country you're from. It's Kalk, like Kulk. Macaulay Culkin. It's what Kulk. is that? from what your is country? That? Boy. Oh, that is. I am gonna give Maji some leeway because we actually call it Kalk here down the south. What's a you Kulk? shouldn't though, man. What the? <laughs> There's an L. What's what are you Kulk? doing, James? <laughs> James, you got a lot going on, don't you? I suppose so. Do you also use co you do, do you also use cock on a three inch crack? I have no idea what that's a reference to, nor do I really care. The, just this conversation, or Martin. You missed, you missed the home improvement segment. Yeah. Obviously, I did. Well, oh, dude, whatever. Was... That might have been for the best. <laughs> <laughs> oh, cripes! Uh, so, what's on your mind lately, dude? My mind in general? Oh, my mind yeah. has been busy with a thousand different things. Work um, recently released another video experimenting with uh, with kind of music and faction introductory by releasing a kind of like a single for every faction within World Without End, getting their oh, own wow. over time and a little homemade music video. But over time, I want to improve the quality of because right now it's a mixture of ai art and um and and stock footage cool yeah that's uh was released on my latest sub stack with not before my latest sub stack my latest sub stack was the release of um my second set of lore cards which came out pretty good kahuna got a little sneak peek but this is it right now. I'm hoping to make every future Substack release nice and fluffy. Nice cock. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, that's just one of those weird synchronicities right there. Yeah, there this, it is. Yeah, you should click this on This is the it. theme of tonight's show. It's I proud. So. It's big, large, and in charge. Very black. You to can be fair, the it's energy. the theme of every show. 
I, what can I say? I'm patriarchal. <laughs> it's only the BBC. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Bark, bark, bark. Everyone acts innocent, but they all plant it there. <laughs> Scroll down, maybe you can see the cards. Or if they clicked on already. He's oh, sorry, no, he was just fixated on that big black cock. Uh, <laughs> you gotta you gotta you gotta click on the BBC in the top. Actually, AC <laughs> the way you're spelling it, it's more like CAC. It's more the way you're spelling it. I suppose it depends where you come from in the country. I, I gotta click on the where? Right on top of it, man. The rooster. Click, click, click it. Just, just, trust, click just touch it. it. It's not weird. Click, clickety, click. Yeah, I uploaded them and uh, created some magazine spreads as we're returning. That is the song right there. And then I have three separate lore cards. Each oh, sweet. Them, um, and some lovely. Uh, entire page of text to go along with it to help break down uh sort of location faction army and uh basically give you a hero from the faction itself and i'm slowly just gonna crawl across the map introducing the separate factions uh, nice. this, is, this is the land card and the next one i believe is the either the army card or the, yeah the army card basically breaks down um well the army of the land what they do um how they operate their preferred forces of course this is the roosters which is an army made up of primarily orphans and they patrol a basically unpoliced area of wilderness which has left them orphaned due to uh constant raiding by uh rogue mercenary groups and the like so they specialize in um hit and run attacks and overwhelming numbers and they're essentially trained by a gentleman who was uh, a hero of the land named rudger but he has slowly gone blind and has aged over time so he has distilled all his knowledge into a single individual has slowly spread it and built up this army and they call themselves the roosters because like an actual rooster no matter how large their opponent is they don't back down they'll charge right up to them and they'll fight to the death and that's how they're trained oh. because they're all orphans they don't have anything else to live for basically and they'll eat insects and they'll eat insects yeah they'll dare each other to eat insects by the dozen like right in the middle of it yes dude, the are okay just check it dude I dude, can see why you see that ant right down there? That looks like a nice juicy ant. Um, <laughs> no, 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 no. If you scroll all the way down, I want to show you something cool I'm going to be working on as I uh, release these, as we go along releasing these. Uh, the final page, if you will. That's the hero card. And the final page, this one is going to... You scrolled past it, but... Um, <laughs> Right there, this page, I'm going to slowly kind of crawl across the map. And as you see, there's a, the single card right there, the army card. I'm going to fill up the map with all the different cards and eventually just have this one whole map with all these cards. And I'm planning on sometime in the future making it interactive where you can click on a card and it'll just bring up the three. Uh, that sounds cards. awesome. Yeah, so that's the, that's the long game for these right here. So I got to plan Sweet. Um, real quick, Wrangler, I will have to go here in a minute, but um already if, if you wanted to, uh, we could react we could react to the uh full trailer the newer trailer for Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. I that that's one that's one of the only movies I'm actually excited for this year. Yeah, What's let's do it. That chased you off. Hey, well, wait, well uh no, I was uh Maji talking about cock. Moving on. Oh <laughs> let's see. Oh. Let's see. Hulk. Yeah, Hulk. Hulk, yes. There you go. She said it! Anyway. <laughs> Kingdom of the Planet. I gotta oh, give it to this apes. series of films. I have zero interest in them, nor have I ever met anybody that has any interest in them, but apparently they keep, you know, making money, so good on ya. James, what? Excuse me? Uh. <laughs> Maji, how dare you? 
That's what I'm talking about. I've, I've met more people who've just been <laughs> meh about it than actual hardcore fans. You know, I thought... You know, I, but this Dawn of the be... Planet of the Apes is one of my favorite movies of all time. I think the original, the, the originals were better. I do like the originals. Was I don't best. know if they're better. They're like different. The ones. Oh my! I, dude, I, I'm gonna have to slap all. Yeah, yo, I swear to God. Before you get on with the slap fest, let's check out the trailer. Racist. <laughs> Mark Wahlberg just shows up in this movie at the end. <laughs> what? No. Oh. <laughs> so they're finally chasing the I'm humans like in the opinion, first one. Like in the actually, very first movie, yeah. Uh, Mark Wahlberg's uh, Planet of the Apes movie is a guilty no, pleasure it, for me. It, it, it's, it, I know why you like it, but it is bad. It Does is bad. Vin Diesel play all the apes? But here's the thing. The, the actors they got for the apes and shit and actually the costume and everything... <laughs> The sets were pretty fucking good in that movie. They were. I liked them better when they had masks for the monkeys. In the uh, Mark Warburg one, they are wearing suits. Not yeah, they look good too. No, where's a boo in the lab? The story was actually really good. That movie would have been 10 out of 10. Did they do a mashup with Predator and Planet of the Apes yet? She said, uh, I'm a strong whammon, you dumb, dirty apes. You know? She's a white woman. I believe her deal is she's one of the only people who doesn't who was not affected by the uh disease. Like she didn't have the low she didn't have the diminished intelligence brought on by the uh, final form of the ALZ virus. That basically turned all the most of humanity into animals by this point in the story. When does Tarzan show up? She didn't get the idiocracy. <laughs> exactly right. Yeah. When humans and apes lived side by side. And after that, she demanded to see the manager. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it be awesome to see one of those apes ride by in a horse chugging a brondo? <laughs> The I want to see a, Crusher. I want to see a Mad Max <laughs> version of Planet of the Apes where they're driving around in cars and shit. <laughs> I want to see one where you just randomly insert the Invisible Man as a B plot. Okay, I would have liked to seen the Mark Warburg Planet of the Apes sequel, where it's like taking place in New York and shit, modern day. Just see how bad shit stupid would have been. I will find them. I will bring them. Oh. oh my god, this this trailer will give uh, Otter PTSD because of the uh, <laughs> jungle gym. We are safe them together. Kingdom of the Planet of the Apes. Enter the kingdom in IMAX. Only theaters may well, Why did it have to be so racist? <laughs> <laughs> AC down here going off. Well, that was all right. Epidemic. I'm still not going to watch it, but I'm sure a lot of people will. Bro, it's. Uh, I hope it's good. the uh, the first The first one was good. The second one was excellent. Third one was masterful. There's not enough prosthetic. Oh, effect. you mean there are other Planet of the Apes movies that are there's originals? A, there's There's a new trilo- the newer trilogy with Andy Serkis, and that those movies were really really good. <laughs> if you say so. Uh, what's tougher sure. to keep track of at this point? Planet of the Apes or Godzilla? Godzilla. Rather, uh, Godzilla it, it's not hard to keep track of Godzilla. Just like, you are you going to watch American? Yeah, yeah, she is, uh, he is kind of easy to spot. Yeah, but you got your trick? American Godzillas, you got your Japanese Godzillas. It's not all clear. This is it. This oh, is it, right? Are. This is how you keep track of Godzilla. You don't, because barely out of the movie is have any thread even the ones that do like well, you, you know how the you japanese know. ones do not the hey American guys ones. y'all know how to catch a godzilla right by the time lizard lizard lizard, lizard lizard yeah you get the taco bell jawawa he's got a little stick in the box and he said come here lizard 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 man that's an old commercial <laughs> very very old commercial um yeah godzilla commercials weren't bad for a terrible film <laughs> 
You know, but I still watch them just for enjoyment. But I like bad movies. You remember that one time that uh, the the main like actor? Some well, movies. some bad movies. You remember that one time the main actor for Godzilla killed a guy with his car? Oh, what in the nineteen ninety eight Godzilla? Yeah, Matthew Broderick <laughs> killed the guy with his car. Once. Yeah. Oh. Well, I love I loved that movie when I was a kid. And looking back, it's not a good movie, but the CGI was really good for the time. It's fine for what it was. You know, it's Hollywood. Yeah. The yeah. sad thing is, you know, that Godzilla had way more of a story than the freaking Godzilla vs. Kong original movie. Or, I mean, not original movie, newest, not the new, the, the uh. new Empire. Oh, yeah. The fucking Godzilla vs. Kong was a great movie. What are you talking about? Whatever, no, she's talking about the new the one, the new Empire. <laughs> wow, look at that. So Japzilla. <laughs> I love it. Sometimes bigger is better. I remember that commercial. You know what would be hilarious um, is if the next Godzilla was a whale. Was a whale? <laughs> yeah. Anyway. It's a, it's a throwback to the actual name. I forgot what it, uh, Godzilla actually means. It's like lizard oh, whale. Or something whale. Gojira. So we're going to... Time to start wrap up. Herman. What? Shield. 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 Um, shield buy my shield. book. Buy my books. As a matter of fact, I'm getting ready to set up the uh, the Revenant and the Cult. Oh, I got nice. Logged in. The Revenant and the Cult? Cult. You hear that, everybody? Cult. He's trying to get you to join a cult. Don't drink the Kool-Aid. Don't do it. I'm going to say, all right, cults provide stability if you get in the right one. If you get Join in the my right cult. One, James. The, the cult is it holds bullets and it sits on your hip. What do you think most gaming guilds are? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Ouch. Shield, James. Shield, 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 shield. Um, I you basically saw my stuff like 15 minutes ago. If you liked it, go check it out. That's world without end lore.substack.com. You'll be getting a lot there. It's gonna be developing, evolving, turning into a lot of cool stuff. And um, it's gonna be one hell of an adventure. Hope you come along for the ride. Nice. Maji. Um well, uh, <laughs> have a good day. Probably <laughs> yeah, Are you going to talk about your next back. home improvements uh, segment, Maji? Yeah, the cockinator. I, I have a feeling that that would probably end in a disaster, okay? I'm not that incompetent. But it's a fantastic disaster. You have, you have, the, co you have the cock in your hand, it gets everywhere, makes a big mess. whoop de doo <laughs> It is coming. It is coming. It, we're, we're, I'm... I'm slowly going through it with uh, Daniel P. Riley right now. We're about halfway done, and then he's going to set me loose for one final draft, and then we, it, hopefully it'll be done. Oh, this is going to be so cool. It's awesome. going to be fun. Frederick. I might yeah. actually read that one. We I make bonjour. Yeah, I make comics.com is where you can get to my website. I'm working on a comic book. It's the story of a hacker kid who sort of hacks a a bank and is into bitcoin and he comes out of jail and he's got lots of money like bruce wayne and he wants to take on big baddies so if you're into action superhero comics i make comics.com follow it and keep stay posted i like your nice. framing there of your character thank you read out well i am boring <laughs> Yep, that's how I'm going to show myself, because I do nonfiction. I, I am a historian. I make historical videos, which tend to release Saturdays on Readout Productions. And we also go live Thursdays, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, to rant about history. I'd like to say I'm able to talk coherently live about history. It usually de-evolves into a rant, but an entertaining one. De-evolves? So. De-evolves, yes. <laughs> so I also sure got head out. on media podcast where you... Uh... You read My Immortal. Yeah, we do. We read My Immortal. We read The Hunger Games. Apparently, we read bad young adult fiction over there. I got to do <laughs> some serious restructuring of that channel. Upcoming on my channel, The Fourth Wing. Uh, <laughs> spiritual you, Christian. With buffler sauce. Oh, Christian, we can already shield the date when we're doing the Fourth Wing stream. Uh, Billy, you're already talking about it. So when it, when are we going to have the... What is, what is the date for our Fourth Wing stream? April the, April the 26th. April the 26th. It's going to be a beautiful thing. 
Big on the Hoonish channel, correct? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. It's going to be a good time. We're going to talk about um, excellence in literature. <laughs> if, awesome. And if it's at all represented in the uh, pages of the fourth wing. The awesome. <laughs> Every one of us are going to be reading... Everyone what was that, Magic? We're reading two fucking uh, parts on the stream, and it's going to be atrocious. E yeah, each one of us has to read two separate parts of the book. Parts is in what? You don't mean like an entire chapter, do you? No, no, just a oh, small okay. snippet. Just to, okay. you know, just for quality. Take, take it out of context so we can skew it as much as possible. Like, yeah. we need to do that to begin with. But Will you, I mean, will, we're will you just kill me already? Well, because if you're not going to kill me, it's starting to annoy the fuck out of me. Raven. <laughs> I hate to admit it, I actually like that line. <laughs> oh, it's... Oh, no. Money, boy. Um, check out ironage.media. <laughs> nice. Okay. Check out ironage.media. Now me. I thought you were going to shill our Berserk stream, uh, Billy Bob. I'm yeah, we are. <laughs> yeah, he's good at do that, man. Don't, yeah. Also, yeah, you can find uh, me on. Yeah. Sorry, go yeah, you can find me on Only Gremlins on Substack.com. Uh, also, my channel, Billy Bob Sack, and on Lord Otter Stream, our channel, on April the 19th at 8 p.m. Central Standard Time, we'll be doing Berserk Deluxe Volume 4 discussion. My brother, come find me. Anyway. And <laughs> it's the Brady volume boy. with the eclipse in it, is it not? Yes, yes it's sir. The start of the eclipse, yes, but it's not the big moments. That's deluxe volume five. Right. Oh boy, deluxe volume four, twelve inches of pure black. It's beautiful. With some red on it. Swordsman. Oh. It's got some red on the tip, Christian. L <laughs> Whoa! Large, Crazy. tremendous black. Beautiful blacks. Solid work. Age on that one because there's. Uh, not that one. Or that you one. Open the wild part. You knew you opened the right to wild. I might have. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I haven't found a page that I can open. I can show this page. There we go. There's nothing. This is all fine. We're all good. Nothing weird here is good. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fi it took me four tries. I finally found a page I could show. And frequency. Yeah. Check out Haley Starbag Kitty. It is available on Amazon right now and coming out next week. The follow up Bad Kitty Haley's World. Lots more to do, lots of fun. It's going to be a blast. You can pre order that for Kindle right now and it'll release on Wednesday next week. However, also Wednesday, the physical copies become available. So both paperback and hardcover. Wednesday next week is the release. So check it out. Bad awesome. Kitty. Haley's World. Amazing. Oh, read out. I got a perfect opening for you today on your oh, uh, Lord. history channels. What's Instead that? of the evolution, you know, from uh, with Randy Orton, Brock Lesnar, and uh, what else was it? Batista. First of all, that. Brock Lesnar was not an evolution. Was he not? He was not. It was Batista, Randy Orton, Triple H, and Ric Flair. Was Triple H in it? Okay, anyways, you open that up, but you put de-evolution. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I agree, Fu Man. Get that physical media. You never know when they're going to take it. Yeah, get physical with your media, folks. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for coming in and hanging out with us tonight. It was a great time. Thank you, everyone, in chat and on panel. It's a great honor to be here with everyone. If you enjoyed this presentation, hit the like, and if you didn't, I appreciate you stopping by. We'll God see you next time. You. God, bless God bless you all. Back. I am not wearing pants.